what's up guys my name is Ugu aka Demon and welcome to another video of Clash Royale so today I'm super excited because I'm gonna talk about my my ascension to the legendary arena yes finally I made it to the, the legendary arena now I'm gonna show you guys how I did it I was using this deck right here as the deck that I've been, I've been using lately I got the P.E.K.K.A, the Witch, the Poison, Zap, Electric Wizard, Bandit, Fire Spirits and Cannon. Of course, you guys can think like, ah, why the hell does he have Zap and Electric Wizard at the same time in the same deck? Well, the fact is, I love the Electric Wizard, I also love Zap and I got a lot of troubles with the, with the Infernal Tower. Since I don't have a, a kind of a, a swarm unit on this deck, I'm using the Electric Wizard kind of to, to counter uh, the Miner, to counter, pff, I don't know, so many things, the, the Infernal Tower, of course. And because I love the effect of the Electric, electric Wizard when he, when he drops on top of a lot of troops with that splash effect he does. So uh, that's what I've been using lately. I kind of think that um, I'll probably change it for the bets, <laughs> but my bets are only level 7. I'll, I'll give them a try later as soon as I can get them uh, a bit higher but well this is my this is my main account this is my main account the level 10 account I'm at uh, 3790 3, uh, right now but that's because as soon as I as I got to the legendary arena I matched up with some high-level players of course and I got my ass kicked but this has been this has been my record on the last days as you can see of course I got a few losses nobody's perfect there's no perfect deck but I managed to to go from uh, 3000 and 1700 all the way up so I lost that match I won this one 1-0 one I lost that other one 1-0 one here was a great uh, one zero two three zero versus a hog lumberjack deck, which was pretty cool. Another three zero versus a royal giant hog deck. Uh, a draw is better than losing. <laughs> now this one I I lost against the against the the lumberjack, the hog, the golem, the graveyard, the elite barbarians. That was a very difficult one. Another three zero victory. And we're still going up. Another loss. Another loss. A lava loon and a infernal dragon. That was our. But here I had a win against a lava loon deck and a lightning. Yes. All this, all this matchup was all, were almost against higher level players than me with higher level cards than me. But I guess I, I, I've I've been doing quite quite well with this deck. It's my favorite deck so far. Oh, look at this now. This one here, this one here against FX was the the one that granted me access to the legendary arena. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys some replays. Maybe on the next video I'll do some live battles, but I don't want to make a, a a very big video about this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this this replay first. It's the the Lava Loon deck. It was quite hard. It's one of the the decks that I I find quite difficult to, to beat but this this time I managed to do it and there I go with my bandit she she's kind of a, a surprise factor that I use in my deck you could see he, he dropped the, the the skeleton the skeleton stone there but um, it wasn't quick enough so my my bandit did reach the tower now he, he puts the the lava hound and I was like okay he's gonna use a lava hound this is probably a lava loon and I'm gonna be screwed so I better push right in with uh, with a lot of strength and I did put my P.E.K.K.A in front well, he used uh, the lightning of course he totally annihilated my witch but my poison my poison whacked off those, those goblin gangs and check that out my P.E.K.K.A is on the tower taking it down now it did drop some minions behind uh, the lava hound but my fire spirits took care of it right away now on top of that lava hound, this is why I love my electric wizard so much. I drop it right there on those lava pups and completely smash them. Now the balloon is probably no, it did not. <laughs> okay, 
it didn't reach the tower, only the, the bomb. It was a completely waste of elixir to drop that cannon right there, but it, it did end up distracting that, um, that mega minion. Meanwhile, my bandit got onto the tower again, dashing and uh, avoiding the, the skeleton's thumb. So now I waited here for a bit, was thinking about what I'm gonna do. Waiting for Elixir to pump, and I think he's gonna start another Lava Hound push. Yes, he is. But this time, this time I put my Pekka on the other side. I guess that was a mistake, but we'll see, we'll see. I can't really remember how this fight went. Okay, okay, now I see it. Okay, I dropped the Fire Spirits, because I saw the minions well. The Fire Spirits got to the, to the Lava Hound first. Now, the minions... And, uh, and the skeletons and the mega minion and, and the goblins, everything was around my, my Pekka distracting all that and my fire spirits managed to kill them. Now I got two electric wizards on the battlefield. And look at that. I managed to distract the balloon again with my cannon. Meanwhile, they dropped the minions to get my fire, uh, my electric wizard, but they did not. And once again, my bandit dashed so quick to the tower, he couldn't do anything against with that tombstone. Now, he tries so hard, he was desperate, he put the Lava Hound right up there, and uh, the Goblin Gang on the back, but I had, I think I had everything under control. I was like, no, there's no way he's gonna, he's gonna destroy my tower in time. He did throw some arrows, but he didn't get it. Anyway, his tower was only 588, it would only take uh, a minute for me to, to take it down. Okay, let's jump right into the next fight. Okay, so here we are again, guys. Now this time we're gonna we are fighting against Dark Earth from NGP Pungol, and he got he has a, a giant Elite Barb's Hog deck. And check that out. I couldn't surprise him this time with the, he put the Elite Barb's, but I did manage to stop them with my Witch and my Fire Spirits. So. Now I was just, just waiting for some elixir to, to, to pop up. Yeah, it did drop. It dropped his, uh, his barbarians and I had to distract them with the cannon. Now look at this. Now here am I gonna use again my electro wizard to distract all that. But still his fire wizard did survive. Now my bandit doing job again. Killing that barbarian and that fire wizard again. And he drops the the minions, I zap them right away because maybe I could get some time to the bandit to reach the tower and they would not get my tower. The hog rider comes in of course and my fire spirits are still gonna do some work but at this moment I was thinking damn this thing is hard I'm not gonna win this fight I'm not gonna win this battle. It's a level 11 it's, he, got, he has a lot of strong troops a lot of counters to my deck I said barbarians uh, the hog is gonna be difficult and he starts fireballing my tower of course he knows that tower is gone and I know it too so I decide to push everything I had on the other side to make it to the tower now he tries to distract them with the barbarians of course but my electric wizard from the other side of the river did manage to push to to shock them the Pekka going in again and this is where the Electric Wizard and the Peckham could can make a good combo. Because if the Electric Wizard stuns the tower, and I do manage to put something in front of the Pekka, like a skeleton, even the bandit, the Pekka will not be getting hits from the, the tower. So he will be able to still be alive and destroy the tower. Now, that was a bad move by me. I dropped the bandit at the fire spirits. He had the elite barbarians, but now I did counter that hog rider perfectly with my Pekka. Now he's gonna try everything to defend. I think he should be worried about destroying my other tower, but that didn't seem to be his priority. He was worried about the pack and the witch. He dropped that giant right there. That giant was easy. And now look at that. It did drop the minions. <laughs> but my fire spirits did manage to get there. And another pack. I did manage to put another pack in there. Poison everything. Getting ready to get the three crowns. Can we make it? Yes, the bandit got in. Distracted, distracted the towers. And good game. That was it. A good game against a level 11 player. 
with higher level cars than me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that replay too. Let's jump into another one. Okay guys, this was the one. This was the one that got me into the legendary arena. So, I was super nervous at this time. I, want, I wanted so much to go up to the legendary arena that I just started right away with my fire spirits. I like I like cycle cars. He's laughing because he's too as fire spirits, but I did not let them get to my tower. Of course, these fire spirits are level 12. Mine are only level 11, but I don't care. Now, here comes the royal giant. Yeah, and when I saw that royal giant, he throws a log just to kill my skeletons and push my witch back but when I saw a giant, uh, a royal giant coming from the back I knew I had to put my packa in there my packa would slice <laughs> slice like pizza that royal giant and now the elite barbs okay dude you wanna drop the elite barbs on the packa they're not gonna do anything so that was an even trade I guess I guess I bet it when he in wasn't supposed to drop her there but the fire spirits backing her up did kill that scarring and that was it <laughs> okay he's laughing right now because he's like okay this level 10 guy think he's gonna beat me okay now I was just wondering what is this guy gonna do he's gonna drop the royal giant right on my face he's probably is that was my my thinking at that moment so I didn't want to do anything I was saving my cannon for the royal giant and here comes the royal giant and this time this time I wasn't so sure about dropping the the Pekka in front of it because I want him to survive for me to be able to push it back because if I, I was like I was thinking if I do drop my Pekka right away he's gonna drop again all these uh, goblin gangs and uh, and the elite bars is gonna take my Pekka out, so I waited, and then I dropped my my Pekka, is zap my is <laughs> zap my fire spirits right away, and then my Pekka got all alone with his skeleton army. Good counter, good counter for him. Now I do drop here my witch, my cannon, and I had to zap him to reset, to reset the the royal giant. Now here he comes again with his lock pushing my witch back. And his goblin gang, and now this time he drops the, the elite barbarians on the other side. I push and check this out. Check how I kill those elite barbarians. The electric wizard and the fire spirits on top of him. Now my witch is alive. She's gonna kill that uh, that Skarmy, and I poison everything. So my packet does manage to get to the tower. And good game, good game, <laughs> good game. And I'm on the legendary arena. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> he dropped the elite barbs, but my packet did manage to defend them, so there wasn't a problem. And at this moment, I did manage to get to the legendary arena. Of course, as soon as I got there, I got my ass kicked. Oh, which one was it? Okay, this one's a one. I won that one. A loss against a, a lightning uh, golem, minions, and lumberjack. I won the next one against a level 11 I guess too yeah look at this guy 4000 trophies top yep yep I did lost this one I won the other one with the hog and the um, and the elite barbs and I lost the, the 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 last battle I did against this guy well that was it for today we got the 2v2 back I'm looking forward to make videos of 2v2 battles with my clan mates and maybe get into this tournament, this challenge and show you guys, make a new, video, a new video about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I'll be back soon. Don't forget to punch that like button. Subscribe if you like, please. See you guys soon. Stay cool. Yeah!